Hey guys, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and I'm going to show you how to make a custom ringtone for Windows Phone Mango. You can't do this in the current version of Windows Phone, but you need a beta version of Windows Phone Mango. We have it on this one, and we need a beta version of the Zune client. So let's check it out. So you may have read already that there are a few requirements for making a custom ringtone for Windows Phone Mango. First off, it has to be less than 39 seconds long, it has to be less than 1 meg in file size, and it has to be an unprotected Windows Media or MP3 audio file. So first what I did is I bought an MP3 from Zune called Ringtone by Weird Al Yankovic, and then I, have to, I opened it in this audio editor. So here's my audio editor, it's called Adobe Edition. You can use any audio editor, editor you want, but what we have to do is we have to clip it down. See, it's a three minute long song and it's about six megs, so I gotta shorten that a lot. Uh, there's a free one called Audacity that you can download and you should be able to do the same, same, uh, same thing. <laughs> so here it is, and I gotta find the spot that I want to clip in order to make it a ringtone. So you gotta kind of skip around. So you, you gotta you gotta find the spot that you want to make a ringtone and kind of clip it out. So we gotta do some of that, and then you gotta delete that piece. And then we, let's zoom out a little. And maybe I want that piece gone as well. And then I have a new piece here. So I can take that and let's fade that in. And then take this piece, fade that out. Did I hit it? Pretty close. I actually want to delete this piece too. And fade that out. And let's try that. Pretty good. And uh, then you just save it as an MP3. And here's our options, and we see estimated file size uh, about 800k, so that's perfect. And it's really only about 13 seconds long, so that's that's right too. And I actually already already made one, so here's my MP3 that I made. And that's 12 seconds, and the file size is nice and small. And now what you have to do is get that into Zoom. So here's my collection, and it should be already in there, so let me find it. Just past it. So there's my ringtone, ringtone, and here's the tricky part. Not really tricky, but the important part. We right-click the MP3 or Windows Media file that we created, and then we go to Edit. And you have to change the genre to ringtone. But here's an interesting thing. There is a ringtone genre already in here. However, that's not going to work. Because there's a space there. You actually have to make it ringtone without a space. So if I edit it all one word, ringtone, and I'm going to set that as OK. And now my, my phone is connected. So all I have to do is drag it down there. And then, you see it's just, just added to the phone. Weird Al ringtone. So let's look.
Alright, we gotta go to settings, ringtones and sounds. Here's my ringtone menu, and there it is, ringtone, ringtone. Let's select it. Actually, let's play it. I want to hear the whole thing. There you go. And that's it. There's my custom ringtone. It's now set. You actually can sync this wirelessly. I didn't really have to plug it in. It just had to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network provided you had that set up in Zune already. So it can work over the wi uh, wirelessly <laughs> as well. But uh, kind of a not intuitive process for getting a custom ringtone on the device. But it works, and it works nicely. That's it for now.